Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to North Star Night Reviews. Taking a look at another old timer today. This time it is the 8 OTW Senior Stockman. And you can see this logo on here. This is what the shield on this knife looks like. And I had uh, the granddad's knife the last time on here, and you can see that's also this shield. Um, so I don't know if this is something that American Outdoor Brands has has brought on as part of the new, um, you know, the new shield. Because I know the Heritage series has this shield. Uh, so maybe they're doing that on all of them. Or maybe it's just, a, you know, this year and then not again. I don't know. But anyway, let's take a look at this knife. All right? Good box. Comes wrapped in the wax paper. And here is the knife. Now, the 8OTW is different from the 8OT in that instead of the socket delrin, you've got this desert ironwood. And I think that is just really pretty. I like ironwood. Uh, now, the back side is not as nice. They really wish they'd match these up a bit better. You can see there's quite a difference there. Um, so, really like the front. The back, I mean, it's not bad, but it's, it's not the way ironwood should look to me. So that is a complaint. Maybe my only real complaint about this because it is put together really well. Just a little bit of a ridge here I can feel, but otherwise very smooth. Um, even the pivot pin, which normally on the old timers protrudes and is a little proud. And there you can see it's got that newer or different shield, all right? Um, now, I, as I've said before, I have a soft, top, soft spot for the old timers especially for the 8 OT Stockman, because that's what I remember my dad carrying. And, you know, this is that same knife only in the Ironwood. So you've got the brass liners, stainless steel back spring, nickel silver bolsters, and then the standard Stockman blades. You know, the main clip point with the long pull. You have the uh, spay blade. And personally, this is the size spay blade I like. Um, I prefer this short spay blade to the longer ones on trappers. Um, but you know, spay blade can come in handy sometimes. And then the sheep's foot blade, which can be very useful. Um, you know, and as, as I say, I'm a big fan of Stockman. Part of that is probably just because my dad carried it, but I think they're a really functional knife too, if you know, if you're looking to carry a traditional. Um, and I really like the size of this one. You know, it's good size. I believe they do make uh, one larger, I think it might be called the Lumberjack, but don't quote me on that. But um, you know, this is a decent size, good use. Really love this ironwood. Not so much this side again, but uh, for this side, cool. And uh, these, we're running, it was, boy, somewhere between $23, $24 is what I got this for. Um, and I believe that was on sale. It was normally, the this price there was like $31 or $32. But, you know, uh, for that money, I'm quite happy with this. I think it's a good little knife. Hope you like taking a look at it. You guys have a good day. I'll catch you next time.